Not the airfield, it is just like hundreds the world over. Not the plane, used in a city walk before. But there is something in this picture. It's the price. He could be Johnny Brown from London, or Elmer Doak from Denver, but he's not. He's Leon from Tung Ting, China. This man is a Chinese air cadet, one of hundreds over in the States to take a first graduate course in flying, combat flying. First, they learn to speak English. And now I will see neither anybody. I have written a sentence here. You need a letter to you wherever it is possible. So I'm going to have you say for me, I'll give it to you, say so this sentence for you. The pilot will probably take the plane properly. All together. That is Chinese held off the gap for six years with rusty rifles, obsolete planes, and plenty of dust. But now, to win, and win quickly, they must have the best. Their pilots are learning to use such up-to-date equipment as the Norden bomb type. These men are cadets, but unlike most cadets, they know what war really means. They remember how they stood by helplessly when death planes killed their mothers, fathers, and brothers, and destroyed their homes. So now they are patiently learning the latest methods of waging war, both in the classroom and in the air.